Okay. Chunky. Well, hey guys, Tyler Berger here with Bass Fishing HQ, and welcome back to the part two of the top water spook fishing series that I'm doing. Today is really all about when and where to catch bass on a spook. I'm gonna go over a lot of specific places and specific patterns where a spook works really, really well. So stay tuned, it's gonna be a good one. So guys, before we get into the rest of the video, this video is brought to you by the Bass Hat, which is this hat that I'm wearing right now. It comes with a unique wooden bass patch on the top. Click the link below and you can pick up one of these hats and greatly help support the Bass Fishing HQ channel. So today I'm gonna really get into the nuts and bolts about when and where to fish a spook. If you guys didn't catch the first part of this video series, I really talk about my four favorite spooks that I like to fish, which ones have different actions, different sounds, things like that. So if you guys wanna check that video out, click the link above, you can check out that video as well. There's gonna be another part of this series coming out in just a couple of days. And in that video, I'm really gonna go over the equipment that I like to use as well as how I like to work the bait. So guys, please subscribe if you wanna check out this video series. All right guys, so let's talk about when to throw a spook and there's gonna be a lot that I'm gonna say here, but as far as when, like time frame throughout the year, really as soon as you kind of get towards the tail end of the bass spawn is really when that spook bite starts to pick up. So once that water starts hitting about that 70 degree range, really a spook can be a big player throughout the rest of the entire year, literally all throughout the summer and into the fall. Fall is a great time to fish a spook. So when to fish a spook, I start throwing it really in that post-spawn time frame a lot into the summer and into the fall. So guys, what I've noticed a lot is when I start throwing a spook in that post-spawn time frame, it seems like throughout the post-spawn, bass will actually hit a spook really at any time of the day. No matter if you have sunny conditions or cloudy conditions, no matter the time frame, it seems like bass will really hit a spook throughout the entire day. I think it's kind of a misconception that top waters and spook style baits only work during certain times of the day, whether that's early or late. I really think that during the post spawn, they'll hit it throughout the entire day. Now, once you start getting into summer, I think there's definitely some windows in which the bass are gonna hit a spook a little bit better and other windows where they're not hitting it as well. Now, the further north you go in the country, when you start getting into a lot of clear water situations and a lot of smallmouth situations, I actually think that bass will continue to hit a spook throughout the entire day into the summer and definitely into the fall. But I think that definitely when you're down south or in the mid part of the country, during the summer, there's gonna be really time frames where they hit it really, really well, whether that's cloudy conditions or maybe first thing in the morning or maybe right before the sun sets. So getting back into the fall, I think that that is kind of like the post spawn. It seems like a lot of times when you get into that fall time frame, especially later fall, the bass are really feeding aggressively, feeding up for the winter during that time. And they're really willing to hit a spook literally throughout the entire day, which it's a great time to fish it. All right guys, so that's really kind of when I like to fish the spook style bait. Let's talk about where I like to fish it. And guys, that's probably one of the best things about a spook is there's really no bad place to fish it. You can fish it in really shallow water. You can fish it next to, to stumps in the water or brush it in the water or docks in the water. You can also fish it out in open water and over deeper water. Like I talked about in the first video of this series, I actually had a lot of success last year fishing this particular spook over deeper brush piles and actually drawing fish out of those brush piles in hitting a spook. So there's really no bad place to fish a spook, but I am gonna tell you four places where it's basically my favorite to fish a spook style bait like the one that I have right here. So the first place that I really like to fish a spook is around docks. And guys, I think that it's a very underutilized technique of fishing a spook style bait around docks because a lot of people are flipping jigs or skipping jigs or, or skipping chatterbaits around docks. But I think that a spook 
has the ability to really draw fish out from underneath of a dock to come up and hit this bait. So you don't always have to have a real precise cast to try to get underneath of a dock. You can kind of cast down the sides and you're actually gonna pull fish out from under that dock to hit that spook. And guys, definitely during the post-spawn time frame, when you have a shad spawn, it's a great place to throw a spook around docks. So another place that is obviously probably one of the best times and places to fish a spook is anytime you have schooling bass. This is probably one of the, the biggest time frames where guys throw spooks often and that's when they actually see fish busting on bait fish. So whether that's over a brush pile or over deep water or maybe those fish are just solely relating to a school of bait fish, that's a great time to kind of actually hunt down fish that you see blowing up and try to make a long bomb cast at them. So guys, another place that I absolutely love to fish a spook, and guys, this is one that works throughout the entire year. Literally any time that fish are hitting spooks, and that is a point. Guys, if you have a point that kind of comes out into the middle of the lake, whether that's a secondary point or a main lake point, or and maybe it comes 100 yards off the bank, but at, at the end of that point, it's still only 10 or 12 foot deep. Maybe you have a rock pile there. Maybe you have grass clumps there. Maybe a brush pile. This is a great place to fish a spook. And, you know, a lot of guys are going to pick up, you know, a Ned rig or a Texas rigged worm or a football jig in those type of places. I really like to throw a spook in those places because again, I think a spook is going to get a bigger than average bite a lot of times and you can actually draw that fish maybe off of that point, maybe off of that piece of cover that it's sitting on on that point and they're actually gonna come up and get that and you're gonna be able to catch bigger bass by throwing a spook style bait on points. Another thing about points is points are a place where bass are really going to gang up and actually feed on bait fish at times. They're actually gonna push bait fish on the points. So again, bass are used to, to feeding on points and eating bait fish, and that's why a spook can be so effective at catching big fish out on points. All right, guys, last but definitely not least, my one of my favorite places that actually fish this spook is on grass flats. Whether you're fishing for largemouth or smallmouth, guys, sometimes you can find these large grass flats that are five, six, seven, eight foot deep that cover a huge amount of water, and it can be kind of tedious trying to find where the bass are in them. And, and sometimes it's very difficult to actually grab over and find exact areas where these bass are. And that's when a lot of times I'm gonna pick up a spook and literally just start covering as much water as possible. I'm able to make a really long bomb cast and cover a tremendous amount of water and be able to find exactly where these fish are located because what you find a lot of times on grass flats is that the bass are gonna be all ganged up in a certain area. And sometimes you don't know exactly why. Sometimes it's easy to see. Sometimes it's a very easy, maybe it's a, a grass edge or maybe there's a brush pile in the grass or something that you can actually see. But sometimes bass are just relating to a certain area for whatever reason. And you don't know exactly what it is. It may be that there's just more bait fish in that area. And finding them can be very difficult. And the best, one of the best ways to do that is again with a spook, just covering a lot of water. And actually you'll be able to find these massive schools. If other people aren't willing to put in the work and use a spook to find these schools, you can actually have them all to yourself, which is a great thing if maybe you're fishing a tournament. So guys, that's kind of the when and where I like to fish a spook. But like I said, the options are really endless. You know, a spook is gonna work throughout a large part of the year. There are gonna be time frames where it works better than others, but I literally always have one tied on because again, it catches big fish. I fish a lot of tournaments, and if even if you get one or two bites on it, it could be the difference between first place and 10th place or whatever it may be. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's gonna be one more part of this spook fishing series to come out here in a few days. Click subscribe if you wanna see that video. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please comment below if you have a questions, and please subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.